classroom with all of your in-school friends. Everyone say hello. Hi. Uh, we are getting ready to do religion. So if you have your religion book out at home, awesome. Um, here in the classroom, the kids are getting out their religion books. Now, last week we made bookmarks. If you remember, we made the Jesus bookmarks that look like this. And if you have your bookmark at home, it should be on the right page. But some of us don't have them on the right page here in the classroom. So together we're going to find the right page right now. But if your bookmark was on the right page, good job. Give yourself a big hug. You are following directions. Okay. So, here we go. That's a little better. In your book, you're going to open up and turn, 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 turn. You want to go all the way until you get to the page that looks like this. It says number 23 in the bottom. And at the top, it says chapter 1. So, if you see this page... You are ready to go. Look at the bottom and make sure it says 23. And if you're having trouble finding that page, raise a quiet hand and I can come help you find it. Kids at home, if you're having trouble finding the page, I'm sure mom or dad can help you find the correct page. Okay, Sophia, I need you to stay in your safe space, okay? I will help her. Thank you. All right, raise a quiet hand if you need help finding the page. We're on page 23, two, three. Okay, you just went a few too far. There we go. Everyone else got it? 23, 23, looking good, looking good. All right, Blake, you need a little bit of help finding page 23. Okay, you've gone too far. See, it says 29, so we need to go back. 28. 27, 26, 25, 24, one more page back will give us 23. Okay. So friends here in the classroom and friends at home. At the top of this page, it says here, I have called you by name. You are mine. Now, it tells us here that that comes from the book of Isaiah. From chapter 43, it's the first verse. Does anyone know what that means? Isaiah 43, 1, the book of Isaiah. Where would I find the book of Isaiah? Connor? In the Bible. In the Bible. So, boys and girls, whenever I see a verse written out like that, if I open up my Bible and I turn through... How many of you know that the Bible is a giant book that's filled with smaller books? Okay, and inside this Bible, I have all these different books. Okay, do you see all the colored tabs in here? Each of these colored tabs represent a different book inside the giant Bible. I'm going to open up to the book of Isaiah because that is where our verse says it's from today. And it says go to the 43rd chapter. So I'm going to turn. There's lots of chapters in Isaiah. And I'm going to get to the 43rd chapter. So see right here, there's a 43. I know I'm in the 43rd chapter. And it says read the first verse. So let's listen and see what it says, okay? Israel, the Lord who created you says, do not be afraid. I will save you. I have called you by name. You are mine. That's pretty powerful, boys and girls. Our God, our creator, the one who made us, the one who made everything we see and everything we don't see, he tells us, do not be afraid because I'm with you. I got you. You belong to me. That is so powerful, isn't it, boys and girls? That makes me feel so good. Hey, I'm almost 37 years old, and sometimes I start to get the scaries. Sometimes I worry about my kids, or I worry about what's going on at home, or sometimes we worry about the coronavirus, or sometimes we worry about, you know, all sorts of things. Everyone's but worried. how amazing, how awesome, how special that we have an all-loving God and Father, our creator. 
creator who says you don't need to be afraid. You don't need to be afraid because I love you and you are mine. You belong to me. Isn't that awesome? That is so amazing, boys and girls. We are so blessed and so lucky and so fortunate that we have a God that loves us so much we don't have to be afraid. I tell my children, now my girls are older and I have my little guy at home. He's a little too young to understand, but I've told my girls their whole lives, whenever you start to worry or get scared, if you just say Jesus' name, just say the name Jesus, you'll be amazed at how much better you feel because when we call God's name, he hears us. And so many times, when I'm feeling scared or my kids are feeling scared, if you just close your eyes and just say, Jesus, be with me, you'll be amazed at how much better you feel. Okay? So that is the Bible verse at the top of our page. Now, underneath that Bible verse, it says, everyone belongs to a family. We all have family, right? Some of us have really big family. Some of us have really small family. Some of us have friends that are more like family. Families like to do things together. This past weekend, I know a lot of you went and did fun things with your families, right? It was Labor Day weekend, and you got out and you barbecued, or you went camping, or you went up north, or you went boating, or swimming. I went up north, and I went on the boat. Lots of us had lots of fun this weekend with our families. Let's take a look at the picture there on our page. And boys and girls at home, I'm going to go over to the computer screen so I can make it bigger for you. Let's look at this picture in front of us on page 23, okay? And let's decide here, I'm going to flip it around so it's not upside down to you at home. All right, friends, let's look at this picture. And you all tell me, what does it look like these, this family is doing here in this picture? Raise your hand if you'd like to share. Camila, what do you see them doing in that picture? Eating? Okay, so families share a meal together. How many of you shared a meal with your families sometime this weekend? Excellent. What do you see them doing, Austin? I see them having family. Having family time, so hanging out at the table, talking about family things. What do you see, Jacob? They're barbecuing. He sees them here cooking on the grill. What about in the background here, the little boy and the dog? What are they doing back there, Sage? They're playing. So we've got a boy riding his bike, people barbecuing, families talking, hanging out. And then down at the bottom of that page, boys and girls, do you see the box that's empty? This says, draw your family at the picnic. So if your family were at that picnic, I want you to take some time right now and draw a picture of what your family would be doing. Would your family be playing games? Would they be eating food? Would they be riding bikes? What would your family do? And if you're not sure, you can just draw a picture of what you would like your family to do. What do you think your family would enjoy? And friends at home, you can go ahead and pause this video right now and draw your picture. And then when your picture is done being drawn, if you unpause the video, you'll be able to finish the rest of this lesson with us. So have fun drawing. All right, boys and girls at home, we are going to move on now to page 24. So if you turn the page in your book, the friends here in the classroom are finishing up their drawings and they're using their listening ears to hear this story, okay? So I told you the Bible has many different books in it, right, boys and girls? At the beginning of this chapter, we read from the book of Isaiah, and now I'm going to read to you from the book of John. In the Bible, there are four books that tell the story of Jesus' life. Those books are Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Will you say that with me? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Say it again. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Those are called the four Gospels. And the four Gospels are the four books in the Bible that tell us about Jesus' life. This story that I'm about to read to you, comes from the Gospel of John. Okay, so this is right out of the Bible. And here's what it says. The Good Shepherd. Shepherds take care of sheep. A good shepherd knows each sheep by name. 
The sheep come when they hear the shepherd's voice. One day, Jesus said to his friends, I am the good shepherd. I know you by name. I care for you and you belong to me. So boys and girls, Jesus tells us that we are like sheep and he is like our shepherd. He's the good shepherd because he knows all of our names. He loves us. He's always there for us. He takes care of us. And if we look on the next page, it says Jesus is like a good shepherd. We are like sheep. Jesus calls us by name. He loves us and cares for us, and we follow him. Now, there's a box on that page, boys and girls. It says, write your first name on the sheep. Jesus calls you by name. So on that sheep, there's a line. In your best handwriting with your uppercase letter first and the rest of your letters lowercase, just go ahead and write your yeah. name. So if your name is Tommy, you'll write Tommy. Mm -hmm. If your name is Susie, you'll write Susie. Yeah. If your name is Guacamole, you'll write <laughs> Guacamole. But if your name is not Spaghetti, please don't write Spaghetti. <laughs> go ahead and write your names now. All right, boys and girls, once you have your name written on that sheep, you turn the page, and now I'm going to read you some more. This also comes from that Gospel of John. It says, following Jesus, Jesus said to his friends, love one another. You must love others just as I have loved you. Let people know you follow me. Show them how you love one another. So. Jesus tells us that we have to love each other. Now, when Jesus says you have to love everyone, does he mean kissy, kissy, huggy, huggy, husband and wife, love everybody you meet? Heavens to Betsy, no, right? What he means is we have to care about them. We want everyone to be happy and healthy and safe because we care about them because they're God's children too. Okay? Not every person has to be your best friend. Not every person has to be your boyfriend or girlfriend. Not every person has to be your favorite person in the world. But we have to show love and kindness to others. And when we show others that love and kindness, people around us see that and they say, Wow, look at Brooklyn. She's being so kind. She must know Jesus. Look at Beckett. He's such a good kid. He's so nice to everyone. He must know Jesus. And so Jesus wants us to live our lives in a way that we can show others how much we care about them. Okay? So how do you think that Jesus' friends showed each other that they loved each other? What do you think Jesus' friends did to show love to each other? Anyone? Sage? They showed each other they love each other by being kind to each other? Absolutely. Now, boys and girls, on the next page, it says the Catholic Church is a community. Now, we are part of the Catholic Church. That is the church that we are a part of here at St. Pat's. A community is a great group of people who belong together. Here in our classroom and you friends at home, we are part of a community. Okay? Hi. Our church community is made up of people who follow Jesus. And we love and care for others in that community. We are all called Catholics. Can you say that? Catholics. Catholic. We are part of the Catholic Church. Now down here at the bottom, draw a heart around the picture that show ways that you can love and care for others. And if it's not a way to love and care for others, well, don't draw a heart around it then. And when you're finished with that, boys and girls at home, you are all done. And boys and girls in the classroom, we will start cleaning up and getting ready for our next activity. So go ahead and look at the pictures. And if it's a way to show love and care, draw a heart around it or a circle if a heart is kind of hard. And then if it's not a way to show Jesus' love and care, leave it alone. And then you can talk at home about ways that you can show love and care for your friends and family. We'll see you later, boys and girls. Bye.